fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to deal with a very complex topic. I'm going to see myself out. Oh! A huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. Once again, good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to check out my new shop Stemmerge EU, link in the description, stemmerge.eu. There I'm selling handmade products like those very sexy looking Tensecrity tables. Yeah, they look pretty good. Handmade, same with the headphone stands, etc. Check it out and support the channel this way. They are definitely worth their money. Today we are going to take a look at the value of 1 to the i-th power, it might seem obvious to most of you guys that it's probably going to be just 1 because you have learned in school that 1 to any power is going to be 1 and Wikipedia, Wolfram Alpha, so Wolfram Math World, etc. do agree that 1 to the set power where z is any kind of complex number is always going to evaluate to 1. But there's actually something that you need to take into consideration. This is only the case for complex values set on the so-called principal branch. And this is what we are going to talk about today, namely what happens if we don't deal with a complex number up here, for example i, on the principal branch, for example on the second branch of the complex logarithm, for example. But before we dive into the main video, I would like to introduce a new sponsor to you guys, namely Study Together. It's a free resource for you guys, for all the people out there who are studying currently or just want to study something new in a group of people. It's a completely free Discord server that you can join in. You can, you can use the link down there in the description to join on the Discord server and there you can chill to nice music, for example lofi music and start studying there. And I'm going to tell you a bit more about this. Remember, it's completely free. Everyone can join there and you can find me on the server there too. I'm not someone who really liked to study for himself, so I never took some kind of book or my lecture notes. I didn't even have lecture notes most of the time to study for my exams or to do homework. I always took a group of people and just started studying with them. And especially with Corona being around, it's harder than ever before to get a hold of people personally. And if you are in this very situation right now, studying for university, don't know whom to do homework with, then study together could be the perfect solution for you. There you can meet new people, study in groups. You can introduce yourself to a community of over 130,000 people in a Discord group, which is a ridiculous amount of people. Once you're logged into the server, you're going to set yourself some goals that you want to fulfill in the session. And once you're done setting up the goals in the dedicated Discord channel, you can go down there into one of the dedicated channels, which has lofi music running in the background, or maybe just a deft or muted server, just to study in silence with other people and the like. And then you can start fulfilling your goals for the day. And one of the coolest things is each and every month, the leaderboards and the scores for your studying sessions get resetted and you can actually take a look into the leaderboards if you are the leading person there with the highest study time of them all. So yeah, definitely make sure to check it out. It's for completely free and you are definitely going to get a lot more work done if you are in a group of people for example or just chill in a nice lofi server. So check it out and support the channel this way. Now we are going to dive into the main video. So don't forget what I said at the start of the video, namely that 1 to the z power is only going to be equal to 1 on the principal branch. What I mean by that is, remember we can express each and every number a to the b power as being just um, basically a combination of the exponential function and its inverse, namely the logarithm. So e to the log, so natural log, of a to the b of power. And by the logarithm rules, we can track the b to the front, leaving us with e to the b times the natural log of a. And now if we apply this logic that we got right here to 1 to the i-th power, what we are going to get is that this right here is equivalent to saying, okay, tracking the 1 up here into the logarithm and our b in this case is going to be our i, we are going to get that 1 to the i-th power is nothing other than e to the i times the logarithm of 1. And we all know by the basic logarithm rules that the log of 1 is going to evaluate to 0. Meaning this overall is going to give us e to the zero of power, which is nothing other than one. But there's more to that, as mentioned at the beginning of the video. When considering log of one being equal to zero, we only consider the principal branch of the complex log logarithm. 
to be more precise, to put it into more mathematical terms, what you would do is we would put a little capital L here to indicate that is the principal logarithm. But what happens if we go around a few more times, okay, on the complex spiral, you could say, in the complex plane? Because if we take a look at the number one in the complex plane as a complex number, then this right here is the real axis, that's the imaginary axis, and we start on the side right here, which is going to be one, okay, this is good. But if we go around two pair, for example, we are going to land once again at one. Meaning if we do a rotation of two pair in the complex plane, we are going to land at one once again. Or if we go around once more, so four pair, we are going to land once again at one. Or if we don't go around at all, we are just going to land at zero. So taking an angle of, of zero radians, basically. It's going to give us one, two, or we can go the other way around. For example, um, negative two pa, negative four pa, etc. So to put this into mathematical terms, and just as a little reminder, each and every complex number z can be expressed by, we are going to take the length of the vector in the complex plane. Okay, this is our r, which is obviously going to be equal to 1 for our number 1, times e to the r far, where far is the angle being enclosed by the complex vector, okay, in, in the r2 or the complex plane, and our real axis. In our case, this far can be equal to 0, can be equal to 2 pa, because we are going to get to 1 once again, or 4 pa, or negative 2 pa, etc. Meaning, our number 1, as a complex number can be expressed as our r, our radius is 1. Then we got e to the r far. But what is the far exactly? So the exponential function of r times. Okay, if we were to put this into mathematical terms, what we get is we are going to get a factor of par each and every time. And we are going to go through all the even numbers, basically 2, 4, negative 2, negative 4, etc. Meaning we can indicate this as 2 times k where k is element of the positive or negative integers. Meaning overall, if we express our number one like this, what we are going to get is that i, uh, one to the i power is also on the other hand, e to the i times the logarithm of, and now we are going to put our new definition in, namely e to the i and then 2k par. Now, by logarithm rules, we can track our r times 2k par to the front, leaving us with 1 to the rth power being equal to e to the i, and then we get another i, meaning i squared, times 2 times k times par times the logarithm of e. I mean, some things here are very trivial. Logarithm of e, doesn't matter which branch, okay, or on the principal branch we could say, this is going to give us just one. r squared by definition is going to give us negative one. Meaning overall, one to the rth power is also nothing other than e to the negative two k power. Meaning a valid answer basically for one to the rth power would also be e to the negative power, for example, for k being equal to 1. Or by plugging in the principal branch, k being equal to 0, we are going to get 1 out on the other side. Or another valid answer would be, if we go into the different direction, e to the 2 power would also be equal to 1, which is kind of counterintuitive, am I right? But yeah, this is it. This right here is 1 to the i power, and I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, then definitely make sure to check out Stemmert EU. It would really mean a lot to me if you could just check it out and see if there's something in stock for you that you would like. I put a lot of man hours, a lot of manpower into this project, and yeah, I want it to be something that was worth making and creating. Other than that, don't forget to check out our today's sponsor, Study Together. They really do a good job with this Discord server and it's a nice place to chill and to study with other people. So check it out and support the channel this way. And other than that, I thank guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And up until next video, I wish you guys a flamble day. Ciao, please stay safe.